In this video, I'm quickly going to show you how to create a very simple Christmas promo flyer in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. And if that is something that sounds like you're interested, consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video, we are linked to all the resources that I used. If you want to recreate or if you want to download the resources for your own personal project you find it in a link in the description you can download it and in case you do and you want to share it with me you can share it with me on all social media handles now let's quickly get into the video and i know i'm super late and you miss me so much but i'm here so let's get this done all right so first things first we're going to head into our photoshop app and yes i've upgraded i'm using photoshop 2023 now so but this should work with any version that you're using as well first off let's set up the project so we are going to use a very simple basic canvas a4 okay so you can go to a4 if you don't have it in the recent you can go to print and you're going to have it right over here so you can double click on that or you select and you click on create now you're going to be welcomed with this particular one over here you're going to make use of a very simple background and some cool test and we are done so first off let's add our background I got the backgrounds from Pinterest. So you go to file, place embedded, and then you can locate your folder. I've already located my folder. So I'm going to bring in my first background. This is the first background. So I'll double click on this one, and then I can zoom out a little bit and drag it from the edges here. So I want more of the white as compared to the golden Christmas background over here, okay. So I can bring it somewhere around here and I can double click. So once I have this, I can right click and go to rasterize layer. Let me rename this because it's too long. Okay. So I'll just rename this and then we can go to filter. It's too solid at the background. We don't want it like that. Or perhaps if you want, you can leave it like this as well. So you go to blur over here and then you can apply a Gaussian blur and then you can click on Okay, now this looks a bit colored. We want it somehow plain and white. So we can press on Control L to activate the levels. And then we can adjust the levels a little bit. So from right to left, so that it brightens it up a little bit. And we have some more white in here. I can go ahead and click OK when you're done. Next up, you're going to add one more background. So let's go to File, Place Embedded. And then we can add this background right over here. That is also from Pinterest. So you can position it to the right side and you can drag it from the diagonal edges. We just want this part. All of these parts are going to be brushed off. So you can position it somewhere around here. Hey, double click on it. Now let's right click, rasterize, double click on the name and you can name it or rename it. And now we can add a layer mask to this. So we go to the bottom part here and we add a layer mask. You choose your brush tool. So brush, B for brush. And then you make sure that your foreground color is black. And then you can start brushing this off like that. So you brush it to blend in with the other background. Now you realize that it also has a bit of colors. So we can select the layer, press Ctrl L and then brighten it a little bit as well so that it matches with the first background now this is going to be a simple background for this project once that is done let's quickly dive into the test so for the first test you're going to use a very simple font called style script i'll leave links in the description if you want to download all of that and the first test is going to be cooks okay so we write our cooks here that is the name of the brand and by the way, this is an actual Christmas promo. So if you want some of these, uh, I don't know if it's hamper or some of these packages, you can reach out to the number on the flyer and you purchase from here. So the first test is done. Cooks, very simple. And we are using the color red over here. Very simple, right? Now for the next test, we are going to use a font called Agency Bold. So it's going to be Xmas and we can bring that one right underneath of the cooks and make it a bit smaller like that. Okay. 
so you position it around it you don't centerize it okay so you can right click on this one go to blending options and then you can add a gradient overlay to it so let's go to our gradient bar i've already set the gradient so we are going to use this particular one here this is the first color and this is the second color okay so we are basically picking up colors from this golden background thing to blend with the reds in here you get a christmas colors right so you go ahead you click ok and then ok from here now we are going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can bring it to the left side edit that one to promo so christmas or cooks xmas promo and then you can push it up here you take your time to reposition it and to the right side a little bit i can select these two press ctrl t and you can transform it very nicely simple right now the next thing is going to be the items or the list of prices the list of things that you are going to get so for that we are going to use a rectangle so we are going to select our rectangle over here create a very simple rectangle somewhere around here okay now you can leave the colors for the meantime you just make sure that you transform it to make it big you press ctrl j and you are going to make a duplicate then you drag it to the right side okay you can use your arrows as well make another duplicate and you drag it to the right side now select these three rectangles go to your layer and go to distribute and distribute horizontally okay so the spaces in between these are all the same you can press ctrl t and transform these ones press ctrl g to group it and then you can centerize it now for the first rectangle and the last one you want to make it a bit curvy okay so that the one in the middle remains the straight rectangle to do that you select your first rectangle here you have your properties if you don't have your properties you can go to window and take the properties so that you can have this one if you are doing this for the first time you might have this link corner radius take on you can untake it so that each of the corners will be separate i've done a full video on this if you want to check that out as well so for the first rectangle we want to make this part here a bit curvy so we can start dragging it actually it has to be this one so you can start dragging it to this side until we get around say you can also put in the test okay so let, let's just put 300 and 320 for instance and enter okay so it curves this one around for us now let's choose this the last rectangle and because we did it for the right side let's do this for the left side so we can put 320 for this side and you see how simple that could be okay now once we're done with this we can add colors to it so let's choose the first rectangle you right click and go to blending options and then we can select gradient overlay from here so this is the rectangle or this is the gradient overlay that we are using i've already set it this is basically like a red and dark red theme you can choose any colors as well i also experimented with this but this wasn't really giving the vibes because i, I felt like the rectangles needed to they needed to stand out okay so that you can clearly see the items that we are going to put on it so these are the colors or these are the colors that we are using once you've said that you can go back and click ok and then ok now once you've done this you can copy the effect onto the remaining rectangle so you hold alt you drag the fx onto the second one you can drag it onto the third one as well perfect now once we're done with this we can then put the test or the different packages that we're going to have on this one so we are going to go back to our first font called the style script so we choose our test tool and then we can start typing so the first one is going to be mary over here okay so you can position it somewhere around here press ctrl t and transform it to make it a little bit smaller now let me zoom in so that you can see this clearly so you can put this one over here let's push it to the top we don't need this anymore so we can get rid of this you make a duplicate and then you can drag it to the side you change that to smile now the spacing isn't really helping so let's go to the toggle character over here and then we can make this about minus 20 now you can see this one clearly right and we can do same for this one so minus 20 so that the design will be balanced 
right i feel like the mary at minus 20 isn't really giving it let's change it back right and let's make the last duplicate of it mary bring it to this side and we are going to edit that to our right or all right and that means we need to change this one back to minus 20 or let's make it minus 40 i think minus 40 is fine we are all set so each of these packages is going to come with a different price and a different set of items or different things okay so how much is each of them going to cost for that we are going to choose a rectangle here create a very simple rectangle like this and we are going to change the color to white okay you can make it some way smaller like that one okay and now you reposition it so you choose your test tool you hold shift so that you don't write straight into the rectangle and then we are going to choose a font called poppins the channels font okay and then we are going to type in here gh115 so if you want to get a cd sign you're going to press alt 155 so it's alt 155 okay and that will give you the ghana cd sign so the first price will be 485 you can select all of that by pressing ctrl a and change the color to red or dark red okay and now you can press ctrl t transform it into the rectangle now you just need to take your time to reposition it okay now once you're done with this you can select the two so you select the gh price and the rectangle press ctrl j and make a duplicate and then you can bring it here and then you make one more duplicate and you can bring it to this side then you can adjust the prices right so now the remaining things that you're going to do basically is you're going to just put the list of the items right under each of them to make this video faster i've already typed the items so i'm just going to copy and paste but i'll show you a couple of things that you need to know so let's quickly do that and oh for the font we are going to go back to poppins medium so let's select medium over here and we can left click to type for this one we are not going to use the center aligned so let's choose left aligned over here and we are going to keep all of all of them capitalized so you select your caps make sure the size is way smaller like that around 11.5 we do let's make the color white click ok and now you can select your test and paste it right over here quite simple right this is more than what we begin for for the rectangle okay so we can press ctrl t transform it nicely once you're done with this you can press ctrl j and drag it to this side okay so these are the items you are going to get for the 485 cities and this side is going to have a separate one as well so obviously this price package is going to be more than this so we might have to adjust the font as well so let's paste this one and we have to press ctrl t and transform it as well so you see this set of package or this one is way more than this one so we make a duplicate of that one to drag it to this side and most definitely this side is going to also be more than this side so we select all of this and paste it right over here we press ctrl t and then you can adjust it to match the remaining ones now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to kind of bullet this point and we are going to do that manually because even with the photoshop bulletin that i taught you recently you are not able to do this to get the perfect type of bulletin in photoshop so let's select our rounded rectangle to create a rounded rectangle here i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail and we'll change the color to white once you're done you just make a duplicate and repeat it so duplicate ctrl j you bring it over here you can select the two press ctrl j again and drag it to this side duplicate this one again and you drag it to this side duplicate and you just continue like that so let's go back to the first one you select it you make a duplicate and then you can push it to this side okay so right over here and then you repeat the same process so ctrl j drag it to the bottom but for this side the spacing are all the same so you can select the six and seven make a duplicate and drag it like that select six seven eight and eight copy 
duplicate and drag it like that and keep going like that and this is what you're going to get at the end of the day super simple right so this is how far we've come now the remaining things are going to basically be the test the remaining test and the call to action the contact i just realized that this part has changed this is semi bold but this looks a bit off and it's medium so let's select this and change it back to semi bold so that all of them will be the same so right underneath of this we're going to put customize packages are available and you're going to use poppins bold for that with the color red so I'm, i've copied that i'm just going to paste it right over here and then you press ctrl t to transform it okay so if you need it in a customized package aside what we've listed over here as well you can contact the number below so yeah i've been talking about the number the number this is the number so let me duplicate this ctrl j drag it down over here and you are going to paste the number right here because it is centered so let's make it make sure it is centered like that you press ctrl t and you can transform it because it is one of the most important things on the flyer if people don't get to see this well you might be losing customers so if you are interested in getting any of these packages you can hit the number right over here let's make this stand out a little bit by applying some effect on it so you right click go to the planning options and then you can add a gradient overlay to it the gradient overlay that we are going to apply is basically what we applied at the christmas promo so this one right over here click ok and then ok from here now for this christmas promo these two let's group that press ctrl t and we can make it a little bit bigger because we have some space underneath of it right and now we just need to add our christmas effect to this one so first off you're going to select our cooks over here go to files place embedded and we are going to bring in the christmas hat or the father christmas hat okay i got this from png wink if you want to download it or you can check the description for the files and then we can position it somewhere over here i also forget that we can duplicate this and bring it around here as well i don't know but this this is fun okay and at the bottom here we are just going to put so go to file place embedded and a christmas package flyer this is also from png wing and then you can put that one also over here so you open it up like that and then you can leave it over here and the christmas hat is also there as well i was trying to get it for that christmas and put it but as of the time that i was recording this video my internet was really messing up so in case i get it i'll put it over here and maybe i'll show it what do you think about this one as against the one without the father christmas image as well so basically yeah that is how you create a very simple christmas promo flyer for your business you can easily replace this with all that you are offering if it is design packages if it is anything at all that you are thinking of you can actually use the same template and do it very simple you can also add discount codes and all and in case you reach out to cooks by virtue of this tutorial or this flyer you just mention the name innocent or innocent cable at in and you are going to get some amazing discount on any of the packages that you are going to go for but then i hope this was helpful i hope you are able to utilize this to make your christmas promo flyers and then that'll be all for this video thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video if this was helpful subscribe to the channel will be so very much amazing as a christmas gift and i'm so sorry i've been away a little bit but i'm back now thanks so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye